Hello everybody, I am the Lickzilla, and welcome back to Jack 2. When we last left off, we climbed up to the Baron's palace, we fought him, and we got some inside information. We had to escort some underground agents to new safe houses, and we had to go defend the sacred site out in Dead Town, only to discover that the sacred site is actually Samos' hut. Meaning that... Finally, now we get to see the shadow. What do you gotta do around this place to get hmm. noticed? Well, thanks a lot, Daxter. You kind of basically, like, ruined my intro there, but... Yeah, he's right. We're about to basically see the shadow. Whoever that could be. So now, basically, we know that the area outside the city walls in the old wall... That's now known as Dead Town... That... Is Sandover Village. Or at least... It was. We're in the future now. Seriously, what are the odds the Crimson Guard would be right there? And why the heck is wasn't this thing in the higher hover zone? That's how I got up on the roof. But by now, we should basically be able to meet with the shadow. Come on. Like an animal. Shadows decided it's time to meet you. Why is that place in the old ruins so important to you? There's a powerful energy force at the old house. The metalheads are drawn to it. No kidding. We used to know the guy that lived there. So, you're the new recruits who keep getting into trouble. Oh, no, what? not you! Welcome to our humble underground Samos. movement. I am known as the Shadow, but you may call me Samos. And you are? Jeez, Jack, we went through all that to meet His Holiness, Old Log in the Head, Grandpa Green? Don't you know who we are? Sorry, kid, never seen you before. And I never forget a face, especially one that <laughs> ugly. So it begins. <laughs> How is this possible? We came through the rift with you. I into the future, right? Yeah! You used to look older than dirt and uglier than a knotted stump. What gives? Did you get a little nip and tuck while we were gone? Listen, boys, I don't know what kind of twigs you've been chewing on, but I don't have time for this. We've got a baron to overthrow, a child heir to protect, an invasion of metalheads to stop, and a city to save. I'd say the schedule's pretty full. Besides, I haven't gone through any rifts. I hate <laughs> teleporting. Sure sounds like the old Samos. Right now, I need you to go to Haven Forest and root out a few metalheads. That forest is my source of power, but I can't protect it much longer. Chase down and destroy all the metalhead scouts you find there. Good luck, and welcome to the fight. So that's the shadow. It's Samos, but as you can see, he's clearly younger. Although, there is something that I've never really commented on before, the fact that some of Samos' attire doesn't make sense for this world. I get that he's basically supposed to be in tune with nature, but can't you get yourself some decent shoes? I mean, you're literally walking around on logs. It can't be healthy for your feet. But, as you can see, he's definitely younger because he's got most of his hair. Sure, he's starting to go gray, but he's got like this green afro, and look! You guys remember the bird that's basically living in Samos' log? In his hair? It's an egg! So somehow or another, despite the fact that we're in the future, we've come across Samos the Sage, but he's younger. A younger version of Samos the Green. It seems that he does have some of his eco powers in this world, because basically speaking, like he just told us, we have to go protect Haven Forest, which is apparently his source of power. Yeah, basically I'm trying to pretty much beat around the bush with not giving away too many details. Samos is definitely one of the things well, that what, about this game that sort of came off as them trying to fit a square peg into a round hole. Effectively, it I think that it works well for what they tried to do, but it's not a perfect one-to-one -one fit. And I think that ultimately has to do with the fact that Samos is... The underground said you needed some help. You won't be able to catch those metalheads in the forest on foot, so I've left my jet board at the airlock near the city exit. Since you're helping the underground, I'll even let you keep it. 
Ah, the mechanic is gonna get, let us use her jet board, and we get to keep it. So, let's check our missions. Oop, wrong one. Catch scouts in Haven Forest. I got. I gotta say, this is probably one of my least favorite of these Jack 2 missions, because if you don't know what you're doing, it can go on for quite some time. And it's just draining. Nothing so far. But fortunately, after 20 years, I should know what I'm doing, even though I don't. So I guess there's really nothing fortunate about it. You know, it's been a while since we've had to talk to crew. <laughs> the, the wreck of that zoomer hit, hit a crimson guard and it didn't set off an alarm. <laughs> you red plated bastards. <laughs> It's hard to believe that there's a place in this city that's actually this green. Right, let's get to Haven Forest. Wow, the jet board's ours! I call shotgun! Jet board. It's a good thing that the Baron just outlawed these. <laughs> the jet board is basically the bread and butter of how we're gonna get around whenever a zoomer just isn't convenient. Alley-oh! <laughs> well, that takes us to the ruins. And this should take us to the forest. Yeah, it'd be weird if in the sequel to this game, the forest was literally right outside that door. Metalhead Scouts. They're basically Metalhead Wyverns. They're pretty much fly jet flying around out here. You gotta use the jet board to chase them down. God, I wish I had my map. There's one. Admittedly, it's pro it's not annoying as chasing down the lurkers in Precursor Basin, but you can basically get stuck on things. I've already made a complete loop. Yes! Gotcha. Break its neck. And I got the trophy. Wait. Thought I saw something. There it goes. Come back here, Dinkleberg! Ah! Big stuck on rocks. Yes! Get back here. Okay. Huh. This place. It'll be very important soon. Well, not exactly soon. We gotta get to the end of the game for that. There's another one. What the? Okay, my PS2 is misbehaving. This is the second time it's done this. Uh, Tonight. Yes! He ran right into me! 
Man, that has got to be luck. I have never had that happen to me before. I'm so glad after 20 years I got that on camera. Of course, I didn't actually play Jack 2 when it came out, when it first came out at least. I actually did play it the year that it came out, but I had to borrow it from a friend while we were at school because I was, I, I had, my brother had played the Precursor Legacy and we were curious to see how Jack 2 fit into the continuity, so the friend loaned me his copy and we basically got as far as we could to basically see how the game had changed. Then, one day, long after Jack 3 and the next Jack game had come out after that, well, I was basically shopping at Walmart and I found them all in the clearance section for about 5 bucks each. So, scooped them all, all the games up for 20 bucks. It honestly pissed my brother off when I, sh when I came home one day and I showed him that I had a copy of Jack 3, because... You know how siblings are. Basically, like, we we, com we make competition out of everything. And my older brother, he wanted to be the one that played and beat all the Jack games before I did. He wanted to play and beat every game before I did. It even got to the point where when my brother saw that I was doing better than him at the original Legend of Zelda, he begged me to tell him what it is I had done to give myself the advantage so I so that he could catch up with me. And I literally made a bargain with him that the only that I will tell him what he had to do in order to catch up with me to where I was in exchange for him letting me beat Majora's Mask first. Ah. I wonder if this is what's happening to Ratchet and Clank. Well, either way, the game better start shaping up, because I don't want to have to deal with this. Alright, there's only one left, and it's always the hardest. Because for the one thing, I don't know where it is, and this one is going to lead us on a merry chase all throughout the woods. I sort of got preoccupied looking for precursor orbs at that point. You know what I'm kind of surprised that we haven't seen in this game? Power cells. I mean, seriously, those were like our big hot ticket items in the first game. They were basically a source of great energy, and yet in this world, everything seems to be powered by eco. In the old days, eco was just sort of like a natural energy that was found in nature, but power cells were kind of like batteries that you would use to power everything else that you couldn't fit in, fit eco into. Well, the scout definitely isn't here. So I'm gonna check out that bridge, because I seem to remember it basically being... Oh! I hear something. Gotcha! This one is the hardest to catch, because of shit like that. That's cool, I've never seen them run across the log. I've never seen them go out into the, into the water, too. A little bit closer. Up! Oh! And the fact that it does that. Ooh, another precursor orb. Okay, don't forget about the precursor orbs in the lake. Come on, turn camera. Ah. You 
see what I mean? This guy's trouble. Just when I was starting to feel like this mission wouldn't take all that long. And landed on dry land. But where's my trophy? Excellent work, boys. Come on back to the hideout. I have another task for you. Did I pick up the metalhead trophy or <sighs> Dang it. No wonder I'm not gonna be able to get all the dark jack powers by the time the game ends. Because Metalhead trophies just disappear. Because I'm certain that I should have at least 61. Because, like, I remember basically, like, I think 58 was the second one. So that means 59 should have been the third one. Therefore, 60 should have been the fourth one. And 61 is gone. Oh, well. We managed to get all of them, let's just hope that the next mission that the Shadow has for us isn't nearly as annoying. I wonder... Yep, perfect place to hide one of these. Forty-one. Ooh, this unlocks the Vulcan Fury course at 75. I told you that we were basically past Act 1.
That's the only thing that's a major problem. The fact that the hoverboard basically can easily tr First, I'm gonna head back to the shadow and do that mission for, for Samos. Because if it's the mission that I'm assuming that it is, it's gonna basically take me to the power station, and that's gonna get me close enough to basically the port to where I can do this job for crew. But then again, there might be another mission that I'll have to do when I get there first. Although, the port is that way. If that's where the port is, then what's with that Crimson Guard logo there? I just killed a whole bunch of people. <laughs> No, 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 no. Okay, good. That guy didn't take it personally. Well, that shut him up. Sad thing is, is that when I get there, they're gonna basically be all over me anyway. Because this mission is a real pain. Yep, they're the crates, there's Samos, and the kid. I want you boys to escort the kid over to Core at the power station. He promised to look out for the boy, and I'm just too busy to babysit right now. Oh, and take the kid's crocodile. Crocodog? <laughs> oh, isn't he sweet? <laughs> so what's this kid's story? I found him just wandering Aww. the streets, but that amulet around his neck means he may just be the lost heir to the city. Take the kid and the mutt to the power station. Watch out for guard patrols and defend the kid at all costs. Aww. Oh, and uh, if you happen to lose the crocodog... It's a crocodile and a dog. <laughs> Hey kid, wait! Come back! We gotta protect This him. is an escort mission and an he annoying one. Uh -oh. The kid doesn't have a life bar, but the guards are basically looking for this kid because Praxis needs him alive. Don't kill the kid, Don't kill the kid they say. Dang it! Well, at least I didn't fail. Hey, 
Hey, kid! Wait! Come back! We gotta protect them! Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. on someone your own size. I'm just glad that you can't shoot your kid. Because seriously, I'm fire- I'm discharging a shotgun behind this boy's back. High cycle rate of fire. And there's a vehicle. Don't know why we couldn't get into a vehicle that was near closer. Gotta get the vehicle with the kid. H hang on, kid. Uh, hold on. Take him. Take him in. The kid doesn't say much. I guess he's not old enough to talk quite just yet. Although, judging by the looks of him, he's got to be at least four. I've got a niece around that age. Wait, I've got a niece around that age, and I'm basically, like, pointing it out because on sheer size alone. Like, he, he's got to be at least four because he basically looks too big to be any younger. And my niece, she talks a lot. I'm legit surprised that kids can learn how to talk that early. Everybody out. Head to the ramp, again. kid. Kid, get inside. Let's get these two to core. We made it. Samus told us to bring the kid to you. Thank you. I'll be sure to keep him good. <laughs> oh, sweet. The dog doesn't like him. Interesting. That insufferable mutt never liked anyone but the boy before. I guess I'm just good with that. <laughs> I hope we have enough eco to keep the metal heads at bay. Jack. During my travels in the deep wasteland, I saw some of the bigger ones. Awesome creatures. We saw a big one coming out of a rift once. He was ugly! <laughs> I have some valuable information for you. The Baron is conducting an excavation at the dig. He is still looking for that ridiculous tomb. Frankly, I don't believe it exists. Might as well go out there and disrupt his operation just in case. Knock down all the scaffolding at the site. That should set him back. Here is an air train pass to get you out there. The kid is cute. Aww. Here's some pain. Cute little crock of mud. I wonder if the cro the crocodile is a reference to Dingo Dial. I mean, dingoes are a kind of dog. They're like dogs' ancient ancestors, aren't they? The oldest dogs on the planet. So That's probably why vampires fear them. But anyway, Dingo Dial, crocodile. Kid is cute. Doesn't talk. He has green hair. I've got suspicious activity in the sector. Mm.
I wonder how an old guy like Kor got mixed up with the underground. Anyways, we're pretty close to the, the port. Let's go basically do that job for crew. Please advise. Let me check our mission. Check the bazaar. Destroy cargo in port. Destroy equipment at dig. We haven't been to the bazaar yet, have we? I did as he said. I needed ammo. Alright, let's take care of this. Ah, oh, great. Here they come. You destroy a little piece of equipment, and suddenly the guard is up your ass. You know, Crew said that this stuff would be cargo. He never said anything about mines. So where the hell are we? Well, not quite sure, so We appear to have crawled into an area mocked with mushrooms. What do those symbols denote? That we're in a field of mushrooms? Lieutenant, that is a military map that is unlikely to list interesting flora and fungi. Look at the key and you'll find that those mushrooms aren't for picking. Ah, yes sir, it's right here. It says mine. So, these mushrooms must belong to the man on the map. Either that or we're in the middle of a mine field. Oh dear. Oh, so it's the field as well. <laughs> they're firing, sir. They're firing. Yes, thank you, Lieutenant. If they hit me, you'll be sure to point it out, won't they? That <laughs> this one's probably going to be a jet board challenge. Be advised, I'm on Might as well. Should be only one place left in the city that still has a barrier up like that. This is Unit Alpha. We're on route. Yep, there it is.
How did I miss that? At least it set me up all the way over here. We'd like to see you prove your driving skills. Take on another ring challenge. Let's see what you Excellent. Because ring challenges I can handle. This is going to take me far away, but. At least it'll give me a chance to regroup. Give up your freedom, and I will protect you. Everything in the area is secure. Can't take zoomers down here. Damn it, Torn. Damn it. Seriously, you want me to test my driving skills and you send me into an area where I can't take a zoomer. Argh! All because of one bump in the environment? Man, I've been scratching up a lot of Hellcats lately and they haven't been sending the dogs after me. Look out! You gotta catch me first, dogs. What the fuck?
I mean, at, the, at some point, you might as well not even basically look at the screen. You might as well keep your eyes on the map. At least there's no blue ring challenges. You guys remember how annoying the purple ring challenges were back in the Precursor Basin? That's odd, I should have outrun them by now. What the? Damn it! Friggin' hoverboard controls. Break torn. Fuck me.
finally, it boils my blood to know that that one ring that I haven't been able to get all this time was the final one. Be my getaway driver anytime. <laughs> no problem, Torn. Anytime, anywhere. But this little diversion has taken me over the time limit, so that is all the time that we have for this video. Honestly, let's see. I don't want any more of these things popping up than need to, so maybe I might just basically keep exploring the city and basically do each of these one at a time so that I can basically get more precursor orbs. But you guys don't really need to see that on c camera. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, please leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like it, share it with your friends. Why do I have the hiccups? You want to keep up to date with more Jack 2 coming at you in the future? Then be sure to smash the subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications. As always, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Later.